The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our Brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the Sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The Sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the Sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic. Of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, man. I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Give me the digger's trousers. Come back as soon as you have enough ore. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. If you don't listen, you're gonna come. Good. Don't do that again. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it. And now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We too need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. 
We have our own mind, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Show me your goods. Choose something. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. 
How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cool blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something and don't get on my nerves. seen you before? You're new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. And what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. What goods are considered precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get a hold of one as an outsider. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Why should I join the sect? Well, you better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty.
I'm new here. Who are you? I'm Kareem. You must have just been booted in here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The sleeper is our redeemer. He has led us to this place and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your god to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. Could you describe the way to your camp? There are always some novices around here in the old camp, willing to accompany newcomers like you to our camp. You only need to speak to them. What kind of invocation is it you're planning? Our prophets say that the common invocation of the sleeper is the key to freedom. If you want to find out more about it, just come to our camp. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long. But I've already won a fight. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. 
If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lockpick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. Hey, you! If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Because I'm not here! I'd better keep out of it. Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. Then how come I'm talking to you? Nix vanished. This district is usually his responsibility. And until he reappears, Thoris has ordered me to guard it. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. Do you know where Nick's got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. 
There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. 